In this video clip, I'm going to show you how to set your safe list advertising up to save you a huge amount of time in the future when you use safe list as a form of advertising. Now, and I'm going to show you how to set up these ads, HTML ads, that all you would have to do is sign in and click post HTML, post HTML, or some of them have a checkbox and say post. And how you could spare about 30 minutes after setting yourself up, how you could spare about 30 minutes and hit dozens of safe lists to advertise if you set yourself up right. I'm going to go here. I have safe lists open to show you what I do. And I already have my ads ready to copy and paste. I suggest take your time and make your ad the way you like it. Make it look good because now you won't have to do this work again. All you would have to do is click submit. So make an ad that you're going to use for the long term. And that's what I'm doing here. another moment I'll be finished but see now all I'm gonna have to do is click submit 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 post 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 after I do this once and I will show you in a moment how that works the URL yes I want to save the ad for the future that looks nice and post HTML now you have to go back to post HTML and there's your ad for future posting. Now I have this open. I'm going to click post HTML. All I do is sign in. And this one allows you oh eight a day. Well I have five set up in this one for now. All I do is sign in, click post. I'm done. That's done. That's on their um, website platform for the next 24 hours. That is excellent. So that's one way to do that with safe lists that you want to send a email ad to the targeted prospects. I have my banners set up in this particular safe lists, safe list, and it shows that my banner is in rotation. This is my banner. Now if I click refresh, someone else's banner comes up. That was, I, I decided to record this video to show you how powerful that is. That's unbelievable that I set myself up the banner ad rotations and my banners, they allow five to be rotated throughout their platform when members are using this safe list service or browsing around for credits. I'm going to go to credit mail. Now here's another thing. When I do this once, I don't have to do this again. I created this ad to use for but years to come, I, I did a lot of planning, and I use this one. I like to have things set up in the notes. So I don't have to keep doing the work when I need it. I can send up to 3,194 members. 3,194. Send. I go to save messages. Voila. The next time I want to send this, I just sign in. Send with credit mailer. I am done. So that's how you get yourself set up to save yourself a lot of time in the future. It's the initial work that's the hardest work. That's a great tip. Create ads you're going to use for a long time to come so you don't have to do this again. You just sign in, you click submit, your ads are posted. And, of course, I like to tell everybody a warning, do not promote any URL that shows an AdSense ad on it. I use it for specifically these, you know, Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, Twitter, and a website with no AdSense ads. It's against their policy, and that goes for splash pages. If you, have, if you create a splash page that has one link on it to click, that's leading to 
an article blog or website with AdSense ads on it. I, don't, I believe that's against their policy too. You got to have, you know, a handful of, you know, content and links in order to do something like that. So just don't do it, guys. This is a great form of free advertising that can help you really direct some interested, targeted prospects to your, you know, articles, blogs, and websites if you do it right. You know, just don't take a chance of losing your account. Okay, I hope this video helped you. Have a great day.